This is the TN Ready practice test for grade 5 math. Question number 7. What is 1 and 3 eighths minus 3 fourths? I'm working again here with uh, a bit of mixed number and traditional fraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is look to see if it makes any sense to separate them out like I did in question number 1. We talked about how if I have like a dollar and something and I take away change uh, or added change in that case. Could I work with the dollars first, a.k.a. the whole numbers, and then work with the fractions second? So I'm going to look at the fractions themselves. 3 eighths minus 3 fourths. Well, I know that 3 fourths is actually more than 3 eighths because if I have a circle here, this is 3 fourths. And if I have it in eighths, which is here, one, two, three. So I'm starting off with a smaller amount and subtracting a larger amount, which would lead to, you may find out later, negative numbers. But in this case, it means that we don't, we don't do it that way. So instead, what I'm going to do is look at the values themselves. So I'm going to start out with 1 and 3 eighths and minus 3 fourths. And I'm going to say, OK, well, what does 1 and 3 eighths actually look like? Well, here's the 3 eighths. So if I had an addendum here, what does the 1 represent? Well, it represents a value where I have a, or a, it represents a situation in which I have a whole number broken into 8 parts. and all of them are shaded in. Now you're going to lie to yourself and pretend that all these are shaded in despite the fact that there's obvious blips and missing pieces and things. But what you really need to know is this is a whole, one whole would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts out of eight are shaded. And this is three eighths. So I'm going to reassess this one and three eighths as eight out of eight plus 3 eighths. So now what I'm working with is 11 eighths. So I have all that. So I have 11 pieces that are 1 eighth of a larger whole value. Now I have the whole 3 fourths thing. And again, I'm like, I can't compare 3 eighths and 3 fourths directly because the pieces are different sizes. So I need to do something that addresses the idea of, well, how do I get eight pieces? So in this case, it's actually pretty easy because I can take, that's a better color than that. I mean, for this background, and that's a terribly drawn line. So I have here and here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. And the parts that are shaded in are one, two, three, four, five, six. So 3 fourths is really the same thing as 6 eighths. So I'm going to go over here and say minus 6 out of 8. Now, if I look at this 3 fourths a little bit closer, I can see how I got there. What I did is take, I knew I had to have a common denominator. I was hopeful in this case that what if I multiplied this 4 by some number? Could I get to 8? Well, it turned out that I already had this plus here, this green plus that broke it in fourths, um, I had to make two more lines. So I doubled the amount of lines, so I just doubled four because four times two is actually equal to eight. If I do it to the four, I also need to do it to the three, so three times two is six. So here's sort of the um, solution in more of a numeric form, and this is the more visual look. So anyway, now it's just a quick subtraction. Uh, 11 minus 6 is, of course, 5. And I keep my denominator because that's the size piece that we're working with. So the answer to number 7 is 5 over 8. So there you go. There are other ways to do the 1 and 3 eighths, something that you might want to consider. And if you're good with that, just move on. You don't have to sit around for the rest of this. Um, Somewhere in my life, I started to adjust to 1 and 3 eighths as, well, when I was a kid, we used to call it uh, around the world where you did 8 times 1 plus 3, and I adjusted that, and I just call it Xbox Plus. 
because I put a box up here to remind myself where I am in the middle of a problem. This is what I had to do because visually I get lost in things. So if you have an attention issue and you can't do the around the world quick version, you might be able to do this, but really focus on trying to break it into eight eights plus three eights and it'll make it much easier for you to understand how the math works. But this is like a little shortcut. Uh, the X would be times, so 8 times 1, and I put that answer in the box. That's where the box comes in. And then the plus would be uh, adding the numerator, so 11 over 8. So it gets me to the same place. If you like X plus, plus that's great. If you don't, that's totally fine too. Um, but feel free to work whatever method that you can consistently repeat and that you feel comfortable with. If you feel comfortable, quote unquote, with this method because it's faster, but you can't do it consistently over and over and over again, and you don't understand why it works, then that's a problem. The reason why it works, by the way, is remember how I had eight eights plus three eights. What it's doing is saying, well, eight times one is the same thing as eight over eight. If this was two and three eights, um, you would do eight times two because two holes would be eight over eight plus eight over eight. And then that gives you this number here. It's just kind of reminding you that oh, that's what you multiply it by. Uh, that's how many of the eight pieces of eighth that you have. And then you're adding, this should be a plus, that's terrible looking, um, three more. So this is where the three eighths comes in. You get 11 eighths. So choose your own adventure. I'm not here to judge what you do. Just find something consistent that you can do and that makes you feel more comfortable with how you get your answer.